It was the big race of the day, though heavier in prestige than prize money, an event in which the sponsor, a newspaper, was getting maximum television coverage for minimum outlay. The Sunday Town Crier Trophy occurred annually on a Saturday afternoon, naturally, for full coverage in the Sunday Town Crier itself the next morning with self-congratulatory prose and dramatic pictures jostling scandals on the front page. Dramatic pictures of Fielding being bucked off before the start were definitely not going to be taken. I called the horse a bastard, a sod and a bloody pig, and in that gentlemanly fashion the race began. He was mulish and reluctant, and we got away slowly, trailing by ten lengths after the first few strides. It didn't help that the start was in plain view of the stands, instead of decently hidden in some far corner. He gave another two bronco kicks to entertain the multitude, and there weren't actually many horses who could manage that while approaching the first fence at Cheltenham. He scrambled over that fence, came almost to a halt on landing, and bucked again before setting off, shying against coercion from the saddle both bodily and clearly in mind.